Too late. Uh, I, first of all, thank you so much for coming out on a weekday night. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people just got off work and, and want to get home to their families and such. And I, I really do appreciate you guys uh, giving your time to come learn about West Baseball and what we're doing here, what our mission is, and all that stuff. Um, so I'm Coach Davis. I'm the head, the high school coach. I'm the post manager. And then that means that when we get to summertime, I turn it over to the head uh, Legion coach, which is Coach Kays. Um, so I couldn't do it without these guys. We have Coach Prokosh. Uh, coach Gary's been around for a long time and has been a staple here at West High. And Coach Craig Hazen, who's awesome. Uh, and he will, he's with us last year, and he'll be running the JV program this year <coughs> for us. So Coach Hazen, a lot of you guys are going to get a chance to work with him uh, quite a bit. Very excited about the coaching staff. We have Coach James uh, is back as well. Um, he's actually at class at UAA right now, so he couldn't make it. Um, but he'll be back, and I'm, we have a great group. Um, we've had a great group already. It's kind of a quick like snapshot of what's been happening. We've been throwing in the mornings, and we've been having dome time at uh, the Alaska Dome twice a week, and that's been really good. I just came from there. That's, that's the clothing, um, as cool as it is. Yeah, show off baseball fans. Um, I just came from that, and so I'm really excited that uh, you guys will really come and hear us talk. So I'm going to get right to it. Uh, the first part is for everybody, and then the last half or so, the last 15 minutes, I'm going to dismiss the guys. Uh, the guys can go hang out, talk, talk about life, uh, and then we're going to talk with just the parents, so we can, uh, so you guys get to know know us as a coaching staff, our philosophy and what we believe in. And so, real quick, I'm diving right in. I'm actually going to kill a bank of lights so you can see that. Okay, that's cool. I uh, just want to go over what we're all about, and, and we're process-driven. West Baseball is all about the process that we take. It's all about growth. It's all about the development um, as players and coaches. And so kind of the motto we're coming up with this, with this year is built by the process. And that, that whole idea is that we're building ourselves up, and we're creating a, a, a man, an adult, a human, and they're going to uh, be built by that process and what they put into it. And the effort they put into this will translate to what they put into other avenues of their life. So, right, in, right into it, the mission statement of our process is to develop baseball players who have fun while giving full effort, are selfless in their approach to practice and competition, and value all individuals regardless of performance or status. And we're gonna dive into that over the next 15 minutes. What does that mean? But the basic idea, to be one thing out of tonight, is that we're developing baseball players that have fun, work hard, are selfless, and care about all the individuals they come across. If we get that down, I feel like we're doing pretty good. So a lot of times we're, we're really result-driven in our society. You watch ESPN, you watch MLB Network, it's all result-driven. It's all about the wins, the losses, the, the successes on the scoreboard, if you will. Um, but we want to kind of look at how that scoreboard relates to what we're trying to do here. So it is an important factor. We always are trying to win. That is a goal to win. So how does that play into this process we're talking about of growth? Well, first of all, what players can expect from us as coaches, based on that mission statement, we're going to push you guys to a very high standard or hold you very accountable to that standard. So if we're not showing joy, excitement, liking the game, that's important. If you don't like what you're doing, guys, we don't, <laughs> I mean, we don't want to pull you through a game that's horrible. It is a game we play, okay? And that's one of the big things. we got to have fun through that. Um, we also have to work hard because it is a competition. And so we want to be able to build that. We also need to understand that it's a team competition, so it's selfless um, and how that plays in. And we'll hold everybody to that standard. What you guys can hold, players and parents can hold us accountable to, is that if we don't coach you well, if we're not, if we're not helping you on those things that we just talked about, Developing fun, developing effort, working on baseball skills all along the way. That's something you can absolutely talk to us about. And I'm always willing to listen. And when it comes down to it, just so you understand where I come from, kids win baseball games, the players win baseball games. Uh, I, have, I have won zero games for West High School in any sport ever. Okay, I, I will never strike anybody out for West High School. No, no coach will here. We all have done our time playing. Now this is time for the players to go on, on their journey. Um, and this is something kind of applicable. I kind of I have Hopkins on here, and it's kind of, I, it wasn't ironic, it was, it was absolutely coincidental. Um, 
but we will not define ourselves by the negative circumstances we are dealt. I think this is really important in sports. You just get bad breaks. You just get tough times, and there's a specific way we want to go about doing that. Um, we have Hawking here. Hawking went through an injury. He's going to be battling to rehab. He missed part of his, his almost the whole basketball season. It was a bummer for one of our, our key guys from this year. Um, but we're going to understand how to deal with those setbacks, whether they're injuries or whether they're performance issues. So what I want to do here is, if you mind, I want to show about two minutes of a video. Uh, Stuart Scott was a commentator at ESPN, um, and he was dealt a really uh, tough hand. As a guy in his prime as a broadcaster, he was diagnosed with cancer, uh, and would pass away a few weeks after he gave the speech. We're only going to watch a minute or two of it, because there's a real applicable uh, sentence he said. And it's specifically talking about the, the hardest thing to go through, right? That end of life process. <laughs> but he said something that is really applicable to how we do sports here at West. So I want to watch that, and we'll go from there.